This is Charles Aldrich, and I'm the one who designed this tape measure. It's the Aldrich Engineer Decimal Inch Tape Measure, 25 foot long, and between the inches are tenths of an inch. So if you don't like fractions, this is the right tape measure for you. If you're using CAD drawings, the standard for CAD drawings is decimal inches. And with this tape measure, if you get feet and inches, or if you get straight inches, this is the right tape measure for you because you don't have to switch to fractions. Between the tenths of an inch are hundredths of an inch. And the way to read this is the lines are going to be the even hundredths of an inch. So each, each of the lines are two, four, six, and eight. And the spaces between the lines are the one, three, five, seven, nine. So the first space is one, the first line is two, the second space is three, the second line is four, and so on. And that way, if you need to measure down to a hundredth of an inch, you can do that with this tape measure. And the uh, red is the one that is in feet and inches, black is all inches. And then on the hook, there's magnets, so you can measure to metal. Also on the hook, three rivets to keep the tape measure in. And one of the things that a lot of people do is they just free wheel the tape measure back in and let it slam into the case that destroys your accuracy and it will also knock the magnets off the end. So put your finger underneath so the hook has a soft landing when it ends. And the other thing is when you're measuring on the outside of something, what you'll get is the end of the hook will line up with the seven. When you're measuring on the inside of something, the hook has to line up with 76 hundredths. You can buy this tape measure at aldrichengineer.com if you don't mind sending a check. If you want to pay with a credit card, you can go to amazon.com and search for decimal inch and you can find this tape measure there.